What's going on everyone? Sneaky Mofo here. Today I'm going to talk to you about a new assembly instruction that I just came across called C move or conditional move. This is a great way to really consolidate some logic in your script so that you don't have to jump around so much and do branching based on whatever. So in this game that I'm playing Crea or Crea, I'm not sure what it is, C R E A. Um, it has a shared instruction for health and that instruction is shared between health and energy for the player and then for the enemies as well as animals so what I did was found which addresses that health instruction writes to and then I found the necessary offsets to create an invincibility script. Now typically what you can do is say um, you know you could do something like um, uh, let's see what did I do here I changed something from what I originally had basically what you could do is come in and say alright compare this number to this offset if it's equal or not go to original code which would make the original code happen so if it's an enemy then they'll take damage otherwise you can just jump to exit which is effectively like nopping the code because it won't run any code it just goes to exit so you can kinda do that if it's just a quick sort of you know separate your energy from the enemy however if you want to start building a little more logic into it like if you want to create a one hit kill condition then you might need to start adding more jumps well, with the C move, you can build all that logic into just a couple of lines of instructions, basically. So, in this case, I went through and, you know, found an offset that has max health. Um, and it's this one and also this one, oddly enough, but this one is like current health and energy and whatever. So, um, you know, if I want to create a one hit kill condition, now, really quickly here, we're going to jump into the C move, this page here. I'll have this linked below. This tells you all the different conditional move instructions. And then there's a description down here of how it works. So it checks the status of a bunch of flags, so you don't have to base it just on the zero flag. You could do a conditional move based on these other flags. I'm using the zero flag in this case. Um, one of the quirks about C move is that you can only move into a register. You can't move something into a memory address directly. And also you can only move from a register or a memory address. So you can't move an immediate. Like if I wanted to do like C move, C move if equal into EAX float 100. I couldn't do that can't do an immediate all right so that's sort of a limitation of it but it'll have you paying more attention to registers and other memory addresses um, in this case so I want to create the one hit kill condition I wanna um, so I'm checking here to see this offset B0 B0 all right these two are my player they're me uh, for the enemies and for the animals, I've seen that this value here is hex 101. So I'm checking for hex 101 here. And if it's not equal, I'm moving max health into EAX because the original code here moves EAX into current health. So I don't even need to push any registers or anything like that, right? So what if I want to make the one hit kill condition I want to move zero right well I have found let's see 4c and then there's 64 there's a couple of them that zero seems to be the number that's in that offset so all I would need to do is conditional move if equal and we'll move into EAX RCX plus, uh, what's this one here, 6-4, plus 
right? So with these three lines, I have the comparison I need. If it's not equal to this, which we've ascertained this is for enemies, if it's not equal, we're going to move max health into EAX. If it is equal, we're going to move zero, a value of zero into EAX, and then we're going to jump to original code. So when I enable this, it should give me invincibility and allow me to one-hit kill enemies. So let's take some damage from this guy. And we can see here that I didn't take any damage from that. And uh, let's see, R. Get over here and try to kill this fool. Okay, R again. He's running from me. All right, so he's dead, he's toast. So let's go over here to this guy and see if we can do the same thing with him. All right, he's dead. So I have infinite health, infinite energy. You would see, like as I'm swinging right now, typically my energy bar would be dropping. But here's a sheet, one hit kill. So it looks like we are good to go, that's working. Um, so all that logic built into that script with just a few lines. It's pretty cool. So I'm really excited to start using this instruction in different places and trying to get more creative with it. Um, but for the time being, I just wanted to give you guys an example of how to use this. So this is a pretty common cheat to make where you will need to separate, you know, some of your attributes from an enemy. So. Hopefully here's a scenario where you could uh, find this handy. But anyway, just a quick video there. Like I said, in the description I'll have this so you can go read up more about it. And that's pretty much it for now. So give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Check out other videos as well. And I'll just talk to you all in the next video. Take care.